Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to do a short Photoshop tutorial. And the reason for that is that we are going to tweak a texture that we want to use in Maya. But for now, we're just going to focus on Photoshop. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a layered texture. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? I'll show you. First, I'm going to open my base texture that I want to use. So I'm going to go to File, Open. And I have a texture file called Blue Paint. Okay, so if we hit Control Plus to zoom in, you can see this is just a, I think, a painted wall or so. That's what we're going to use. Uh, but the problem is it's a bit clean. Okay, I want to, for example, texture a wall in, I don't know, a dungeon or whatnot. And I want it to be a bit more grungy looking. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to check my image size. Okay, so I'm going to go to image, uh, image size, and it's 275 by 183. Okay, just keep that in mind. All right, then I'm going to go in to file, open, and I have a file called rust texture, this guy right here. Okay, and we're going to check that size as well. It's important that they're the same size. So image, image size, 275 by 183. There we go. We're going to hit Control Plus to zoom in. And now we got this guy open and that guy open. Okay. Now with this Rust uh, image open, we're going to go to our rectangular selection. We're going to left click and make sure we have rectangle. And then we are going to drag select the entire thing. We're going to hit Control C to copy. We're going to move to our paint texture and we're going to hit Control V to duplicate. Now, obviously, we're not seeing any blue. OK, now with layer one selected and I'll just uh, call that rust, just double click on it. OK, with that guy selected, we're going to go to the opacity and we're going to hit this arrow here and we're going to bring that down to a point or it's kind of smudging our blue. Okay, let's do, yeah, that's about right. Okay, and then we're gonna go to File and uh, Save Edge and we'll call it Dirty Blue. Okay, so if that's saved, we'll just uh, shut down our Rust and we'll open our original file, which is our blue paint. Hit Control Plus to zoom in. And this is your smudge blue, and this is your original blue. Okay. That's all there's to it. So this is just a technique you can use, and you can actually add multiple layers uh, if you want to have a text on this or you want to use a brush to kind of uh, smudge the corners uh, I can actually do this I'll just uh, go to my brush tool left click and hold go to brush tool it's quite big uh, let's just give that a try here I'll just go up to uh, let's see uh, this kind of brush is, is nice that's fine We'll do, um, I don't know, pretty much any color you want. Let's tweak the opacity a bit. And as you can see, this is quite strong, but you know, you can just bring that in. You can uh, take a darker color. We'll change the opacity once again. We'll make that slightly less. And this way you can start to create your own texture files. Okay, so that's all there's to it. If you have any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. Bye.